was able to carrying um, was just amazing. And, and the wealth of knowledge that she carries um, is like none other, but more importantly, how much she um, loves people, how much she loves to make sure that people who she interacts with um, feels comfortable. Thus, you know, network marketing is something that, you know, her and her husband have invested in because of the relationships that can be created from it. Um, and so as I started to, um, you know, work here at Actis, meet many different people, that's when I found out that Karen has a amazing family and more importantly, a high level athlete in her family. And Karen, all I got to say is I, I guarantee you 90% of the genes come from you, right? Um, to have a college athlete um, in our midst. And there's no um, easy way to put it that in order to compete in the college level, um, you have to be physically gifted. Um, and also you take care of your body because that's what gets you to the next level. And so the fact that we get to hear from Karen and her son, um, I'm, I'm excited, I'm ecstatic. This is something that I've always been waiting for because I love athletes. Um, and so I will stop talking and I will turn the time over to Karen and her son, Justin. Excellent, thank you. We are so sorry I had the time wrong. I was on um, Eastern time thinking I needed to be here at eight versus seven. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, thanks for stalling for me, uh, Stu. I appreciate it very much. And um, so let's get started. I'm trying to pull up a video and I can't get it to, and Justin's probably cursed it telling me not to open it. So um, I'm gonna have to, Ed, can you come look and get this video for me? So let me tell you about um, my son, who is Justin Toe. I need to Hello. <laughs> and um, so let's, I'm so flustered. I had it all planned. So this is now not planned, but let me start. So this is Justin, um, he's 19 year old, very amazing athlete. Uh, and that is a that is a mother speaking honestly. So um, let me tell you a little bit about him. He is a, I'm gonna tell you a brief about him then I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit more and we'll, we'll show a little bit of a video for him also. So Justin is a uh, four sport athlete that he would consider to be a four sport athlete. Um, he has, uh, he's a, a third degree Taekwondo black belt. He competed in soccer in high school and on uh, leagues. He is a competitive volleyball player. Not and sure, the biggest is, is he is a NCAA springboard finalist, finalist as his uh, freshman year at Birmingham Southern um, completes. So he also is an influencer in the diving arena and wants to be an influencer in the weightlifting arena. So he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, Optimin and how, in my opinion, Optimin is the unofficial inflammation and pain fighter for the Birmingham Southern College dive team. Mm -hmm. So before I turn over him, Stu, do, am I able to share? And if I am, I'm going to give you a short um, video on Justin. He's looking. Yeah. And you could, um, we make Karen a Participants can now see your application. I am so sorry that's talking over me. I don't know how to turn it off. Um, okay, so here's Justin. Well, maybe. Hold on. I'm having technical, personal technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. How can I use this? So this is him as his freshman uh, or his senior year in college. And he was the Florida State dive, oh, in high school, Florida State freshman uh, state winner. Uh, he also in his freshman year in college, uh, this is a one meter. He took ninth in NCAA finalist championship in the one meter. Uh, highest placed freshman. And he, yeah, I'm sorry, I missed that he was the highest placed freshman. 
And this usually has sound and I don't know why it doesn't, so I apologize. I'm gonna continue to talk as you're seeing his, his routine. Um, so that's Justin accepting the male diver of the year for the SAA conference um, for all the divers that competed. So he also was the, um, he placed, and he was uh, ninth on the three meter and he'd only been diving the three meter for four months. So um, he'd been diving nine months for the one meter. He started as a diver in his freshman or his junior year in high school, which is very unheard of. So um, he took second in state his, his first year and he went undefeated and won the state championship his uh, senior year. And this is gonna tell you a little bit more about some of what goes on in his body, some of the torturous <laughs> twists, turns, flips that he does that require him to take Optimin. <laughs> <laughs> I would be taking a lot more than just Optimin, so. So while you're, this is the last one, his last award was he did won, uh, he did win Newcomer of the Year for Birmingham Southern for all athletes that had started uh, their freshman year, which is a huge, huge advantage or a huge, huge um, accolade because over 80% of the students at BSC are athletes. So um, we'll stop sharing and now I will let um, Justin now tell us a little bit about um, anything else that I missed and tell him why he takes Optimin and how often and then uh, tell you a little bit about some of his other co uh, other divers that also have joined the Optimin club. Yeah, so I'm so glad to be here. Uh, I always want to share my message and try to help others. Uh, I personally take Optimin uh, at least twice in the morning because I do lifeguard on the beach. I miss and, that. and we do uh, we do a lot of workouts on the beach, and I work out uh, for myself. So there's a lot of inflammation going on. So Optimin, of course, helps me with that. Uh, also, what she didn't mention about diving is that uh, I'm a two-time All-American, uh, <laughs> All-American for one meter and three meter uh, for our freshman year, which is awesome. Uh, so blessed to be able to do that. Uh, but halfway through the season. Uh, I hurt my hip flexor, actually, and I have no idea how it ha happened, but it was so bad that I couldn't practice for like one or two days uh, until I went to go see the trainer, and the trainer was like, uh, you have a huge imbalance, uh, your left leg's just really inflamed. I was like, oh, perfect, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> so uh, I like stretched it and like didn't feel better at all, and I was like, I'll just take some more Optimin, take like a, a higher dose. And I was practicing the next day. <laughs> it just kind of worked out like that. Uh, so blessed that it's so strong and effective, uh, especially for me. Uh, the tr I went back to the trainer and the trainer was like, uh, what did you do? Like, did you do anything crazy? Like an ice bath? I was like, no, I just, I just took some Optimum, uh, but my mom gives me, I was like, oh, okay. Well, like you're pretty much nearly perfect now. I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure he believed it, but I worked that well until he talked to the trainer. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, this isn't normal. Even the trainer was astonished. So, I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> but also, since I'm in the pool all the time, uh, I get a lot of ear infections. And uh, one time I woke up and my ear was like swollen shut. And I literally could not hear out of my ear. I was like, oh my gosh, like, it's so painful. I'm not gonna be able to practice. And I took some Optimin and it like undid the swelling so much that I could hear. Like I could hear out of that ear. So I was able to go to the doctors actually and get prescribed uh, some ear drops. Uh, but until they came in, I just kept taking Optimin and it would clear up my ear and I would be able to hear at least <laughs> until the medication worked, uh, the ear drops. Uh, but at nationals, and I'm switching to my teammates. Uh, that's what I've had from diving for Optimum so far. Uh, amazing product. I love it personally. Uh, but my friend Avery, he is on the dive team. And at nationals, he hit the board. And he like really messed up his ankle. 
it was during warm-ups actually so right before the competition he's like I can't dive like I cannot do my hurdle like if when I jump up on the board my heel hurts so bad and I just can't do it I was like oh perfect because he's never had optimum before and I had it in my backpack I was like oh, just take a couple of these and tell me how you feel and I kid you not 10-15 minutes later he was diving perfectly fine and was back to normal pretty much and he was like like what'd you do like uh, is this gonna like hurt me in the long run? I was like no like I take it every day uh he was astonished he was actually amazed and that was our one meter and that was the same day and he woke up the next morning uh and we had three meter competition so I was like okay yeah just take some more and he got fifth in the nation uh for three meter that day so I mean could play a part you know, I would say Optiman definitely played a part in that uh, with healing his ankle. Uh, now I'm switching to another teammate. Uh, I have a friend named Mallory, and she's had back problems her whole life. She's had back surgeries before, except she loves diving so much, so she just goes through the pain of her back. And during practice, she was like, oh, my gosh, my back is killing me. I've taken, like, Advil in the past. I've had Tylenol in the, in the past, and just nothing works. I was like, hmm, okay, I mean, here, try this, and we were warming up, it's like, my back's killing me, I gave her the Optimum, and 15 minutes later, she was diving, she was, like, having fun, which was amazing to hear, because usually she has to stop halfway through practice, because her back hurts so much, and she did the whole practice that day, and she was like, oh my gosh, like, thank you so much, she was so thankful, and I just loved that she was able to practice the whole day and do something that she loves uh, because of the optimum. And she completed the season, correct? Yeah, she did complete the season uh, just fine, actually. And she enjoyed it. Uh, I gave her like a little sample bottle that she took for her own. And she ran out and she's like, I need more. I was like, okay, like, perfect. Like, here's some more. Uh, so she loves it personally. So, <laughs> so we'll keep him. Uh, that's why I say it's the unofficial um, paying manager for a BSC yeah. because yeah. we're definitely getting just about every diver on Optimum. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to keep that team very much um, stocked up because they got a, a new new year st yeah. starting shortly <laughs> and no injuries are allowed. <laughs> yeah, no injuries are allowed. <laughs> It'll be a good season. It'll be a good season. So all of y'all keep a prayer for the BSC team, especially my son. Yeah. And uh, that's our Optimum story. or That's yeah. Justin's yeah. Optimum story. One. Back love you. it wow amazing i don't know about you justin but i mean oh, we here in hawaii like jumping off things but we try to make the biggest splash where you guys try to make the smallest splash there but it wow fun. it's it's amazing and um i can tell everyone right now it's i mean the accomplishments that he has um thus far accomplished um is amazing being a college athlete and diving in the pools like that and at the velocity he is on it twisting and turning as karen pointed out that definitely does take a toll on the body um and he does it day in and day out and so i too am probably the biggest fan of optimum besides aaron as well um that is always my go-to thing and it's also kind of like the unofficial um supplement of our football team here in hawaii i mean i got i got all kids all the boys um, on it, you know, just so they don't have to take, um, like Justin pointed out, all those ibuprofens and all these other um, painkiller things just to, you know, continue to perform at a high level, such as he does. And so thank you so much um, for that testimonial. Um, I, I love it. Um, on a side note, Justin, I took uh, David Brown and Karen, you can tease David with this. Um, I took David and his friend to the University of Utah. So I think I'm converting him to a University of Utah Utes fan, um, although he's probably the biggest BYU fan. I was gonna and say, I'm not sure that's gonna be happening. <laughs> <laughs> and he met with um, the coach there, Kyle Whittingham um, at the University of Utah. and. David ended up sending um, um, Coach Whittingham a whole box of Optimum. 
And he loves Optimum because he feels it, you know, not only in his golf game, as all he did was he taught you just take it while, you know, if you need it. And so he'd only take it when he goes golfing. And David explained to him what Optimum really does um, to the body. And so he's been on it on a regular basis. And definitely it's something that he he noticeably feels throughout his body and his everyday lifestyle. So I, I get glad that we have Optimum for people like Justin and all the sports fans and fanatics that try to still, you know, I'm I'm pushing, I hate to say it, but I'm pushing 50 pretty soon, a couple more years, I'll be there. But my mind still thinks like Justin, I'm a 20 year old or, or 19 year old or 21 year old, but man, it, it doesn't happen like that. And so I'm grateful for, for Optimum. And so thank you so much, Justin, for sharing your story. Karen, thank you for introducing your wonderful son. Um, he's just amazing. And so we look forward to continuing here your success. Karen, keep us updated. Um, we didn't, we didn't know all these awards he was winning, all American. That is amazing. Holy mackerels. <laughs> I also get him to, well, I didn't do it. He was doing it. Car he carries an Optimum water bottle with him. Yeah. At every meet. <laughs> wow. And, um, I did not know he was doing that until uh, I do go to every meet but I didn't pay attention was my shortfall. But all of a sudden I looked at him and he's drinking out of this orange active bottle. And I'm like, yes. And so I took a picture. I have a picture. It's not a very good one, but I'll have to get him to pose it. But every single, um, every single meet he's carrying that op that op active bottle too. Amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you for the story. I mean, like I said, you know, a lot of Japanese people get, Fatuated with the science behind our products, but to hear it firsthand on how it affects people um, is, is, is to me the story of our products. Um, you are the story, Justin, um, Karen, and everyone on this call that, you know, we, we're lucky that, um, you know, we have these um, supplements and, and these products available for us um, so we can enjoy the lifestyle that, that we set out to be. And so thank you, Justin, again for it. Um, Karen, we thank you all for that, um, for introducing us to your son. I hope everyone enjoyed the call today. And let me just.